पिक्चर बिहाइंड ना यू डोंट नीड है ना बैंड तो चालू रहता है मैंने कब बोला था एंड टेल मी वीवर एंड इंडोनेश इधर का कौन है इधर आ जाओ ना फिर इजी फॉर मी टू पुल द एज वुड्स वी आर वी आर विद कौन एबल टू डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन क्वेश्चन very important distinguish between gondwana ha is it can be zoom or paper black and white this one gondwana and tertiary oh last time that was the last of gondwana and tertiary core field i hope you will remember last time what i had explained for gondwana and tertiary What is the basic difference between both? He is saying in a very sympathetic manner. Sir. Ah, thank you. Come on. Gondwana coal field is two hundred years, million years old, whereas tertiary coal field is fifty million years old. Write that point now. Distinguish point number one: GCM and TCM. Uh, energy resources, minerals, and energy. Distinguish between on one side you write GCM, on other side you write TCM. First point I am saying it: the coal which is two hundred million years old. Guys, on other side, how many million years? Only fifty-five. Fifty-five, is it? Yes. Ha, fifty-five. That is the first point. You write it in full sentence. Let's see how do you write this thing. Here? Coal, which is fifty-five million years old, is tertiary, and which is two hundred million years. Gondwana, you are ten CPS children. Yes, attendant. Wait, wait. Second point for Gondwana. I am giving it. More than eighty percent of the Indian coal reserve. More than eighty percent of the Indian coal reserve. More than eighty percent of the Indian coal reserve. Other side, only twenty percent of. Absolutely. Only twenty percent of the uh, coal reserves in India. Third point: put it put into wide variety of use. Put into wide variety of use. Uses. Ah, uh, make it plural. Uses. Yes, million years. Other side. Limited. Limited. Application and limited use. Limited application and limited use. Limited application and limited use. Next,
Let us find the example. Did you find any example of these two? Found mainly in. Found mainly in under GCF. Found mainly in regions, regions. Damodar Valley basins, sorry, basins. Found mainly in Damodar Valley basins of West Bengal. Damodar Valley, Valley basins of West Bengal and Jharkhand. And Jharkhand. Other side, mainly found in, mainly found in northeastern states, mainly found in the northeastern states of Meghalaya, Assam, mainly found in northeastern states of Meghalaya, Assam, and Arunachal Pradesh. Now check this. Any uh, distinguished comes, minimum four points. Is four points okay, okay? Yes. Understanding? Okay. Write the next heading types, classification of coal. Classification of coal. I'm going to explain last class. Again, I'm doing it for the newcomers. Those who are absent. Am I correct? We have coal type in India. Yes. The first one is anthracite. Second one. Bituminous. Uh, next one, anybody? It is lignite. And the next one is P. Now, looking at the volume, let any one person tell me carbon content of all. Look at the volume, it is there. I want any one person to tell me carbon content of all the food. Hmm, looking at the volume. 80%. Wait, wait. Huh. What is that first one? Anthracite. She said 80% of carbon. Very good. Next one. 60 to 80 percent. Next one. Only 60. Correct? And this is 50 to 60 percent. Correct? Uh, less than 50. We say 50 percent. Now tell me out of this, based on the carbon content. Which is the best coal you feel? Okay, very good. Now, why it is best or what qualities carbon content is high? What qualities will it exhibit? All the coal are hard except the charcoal. Hard, stony. Anyone from online? High carbon content directly means what? It is there, they anthracite, they are saying best quality coal. I'm asking why. The first point anybody can write 80% of carbonate. Second point. Best. Uh, best, but why best? That's what I want. Right there. Burn high heating capacity with least smoke. In the volume only, right? High eating capacity. Sorry, heating, not eating. Huh? High heating capacity with least smoke. <coughs> High heating capacity with least smoke. Uh, in the volume. Uh, Heating capacity with least smoke. Heating. 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 Heating.
Hey, look here. Anybody uh, at least understand the meaning of the word ignition temperature? Anshul, any idea, man? What is ignition temperature? Is the temperature required to start burning? Maybe start burning. Ooh. Uh, oh. Anna. So the temperature required to ignite a, an object. Uh, same. But don't you think we use the word the lowest temperature at which a substance catches fire? Clear? There was a question in science only 10 CBSC. Instead of using kerosene in a stove, why can't we use petrol? Both are liquid, na? Can we use petrol inside a stove and match stick? What will happen? It will blast. Oh, very good. <laughs> Why is it so? The ignition temperature of petroleum is far, far lower than that of a kerosene. So always remember this point. Then bituminous, they have said, subjected to uh, increased temperature, most underlined or circle the word, widely used coal, bituminous, widely used coal and found in open bracket Rajasthan and close bracket in Jammu Kashmir. Boy, you've gone from here to there. What are you talking? Uh, for that, no need to talk so much. For anthracite also, we didn't mean at the earlier, mainly in Jammu and Kashmir. Are you not finding, look at the state Jammu and Kashmir, how rich it is for a country like India. Is it so? Every time it is a controversy. What is a controversy for Jammu and Kashmir? She is saying Amara hai. Amara hai ki Pakistan. Amara hai ki Pakistan ka hai. But already we have found out the highest lithium deposits in Jammu and Kashmir. Correct. And I don't know uh, how many boys might like it, girls may not. The next beauty pageant, Miss World or Miss Universe, is going to be contested in Jammu and Kashmir. So I think at least Indians may be very happy, but Pakistani may not be very happy. Live telecast to their jayega to happy. Look how the government of India is promoting that state. And the highest investment, foreign investment has come from a country called UAE. What does UAE stands for? Arab Emirates. Correct. Look how the Jammu Kashmir is little bit. Let us go to lignite. Uh, circle the word lower grade, brown coal. The other two are blackish in color. That is why this is brown. Open bracket, soft iron high. Found in again Rajasthan to JNK. The only lignite field uh, in India, underline, Navali in Tamil Nadu. The principal, matlab, the main lignite field in India. Okay. I'm moving to peat. Produced by underline decaying plant in swamps. Hey, what is that word swamp? Anybody? Marshy land. Don't confuse coal with charcoal. Huh? Charcoal is light that generally we get it by burning out the wood. These are stones only and very hard. And uh, I don't know if you have seen any uh, coal, it is as hard as like a stone. And normally, even today, more than 67% of electricity requirement in India is completed by thermal energy, not by hydro, not by atomic. So can we stop thermal energy in India? No, sir. Definitely we need. Let us move. It's a low quality coal. Underline the word low quality. Uh, look at the other line. Burns like wood, more smoke and less heat. Write the question in your notebook. Answer is here, which will be completing by next class. Briefly explain. Briefly explain the four main types of coal found in India. Briefly explain the four main types of coal found in India. Anybody have any queries? I'm taking a small pause.
So that I'm not rushing up with this chapter, very important. Pause in the sense, you have to read on the Yeah, Anshul boy, you are absent for long class, man. Why? After last class, I had a school function. Okay. And so I watched the recorded lecture. Very good. Before to that, Anshul, was it exam? Before that, I don't remember. Okay, okay. Don't miss the class, man, since you guys are no. purely onlineers. Okay. Anybody have any queries? Now let us go to page number 125. They have given the heading distribution. I'm only taking in first point. Coal occurs in underline rock series. We did it. Okay. Let's proceed to page number 126. Petroleum. That also we have done. Yes. Importance. Importance. We are moving to occurrence. Look at that. Underline anticlines and fault traps. Before you go into the volume, let me explain how this petroleum or crude oil we get it. Any idea? That also, huh? I remember the cord is uh, taking birth and dying in. Uh, taking birth and dying in less than two weeks. And that also, how much? It's close to millions. When they settle down at the bottom, correct? Along with other fishes and other, they say they get trapped normally into which rock? Normally into sedimentary rock. And after the dead and decomposed, the black color liquid is called nothing but crude oil. And from here, the bricks are done, digging is done, and it is transported to what? Oil refinery. Did I explain the difference between the refinery and the oil field? You tell me, what is the difference? I said Mumbai High is an oil field. Uh, then we go to Ankleshwar, Koyali, Kambat, Digboy, Nahar Katiya, Noonmati. These are oil refineries. Oil field means where I'm extracting crude oil. There are certain places where they not only extract, they purify also. If they don't purify, it goes to oil refinery. Correct? We will have a company called Petrol, uh, sorry, Petrochemicals Limited. Your other ma'am might have explained. PCL petrochemical. And they give me a picture as if I am talking. Manufacturing industries, you got a paragraph, petrochemicals. Ah, good. Yes. One person remembers. Uh, let's proceed into location. Put a star mark to Bombay High. There only write everyone ONGC. ONGC. Mumbai High, you write ONGC. Oil and Natural Gas Commission. It's okay. It's okay. Commission. Now let us go to uh, Gujarat. Please put a star mark. That is Kalol, Kambat, Koyali. Uh, these are the places. Ankleshwar. And then come down to Assam, Dig Boy. There only right in the volume, first oil refinery. We have that Nahar Katia. Uncle Ashur is in Gujarat. Dig boy. Uske niche Assam hai. She is asking the question. I am saying dig boy. She is again asking. First capital. First I thought only one shade chili in my class. There are many. The first oil refinery in India is Dig Boy in Assam. This is good. It happens. Don't ask me what is the first oil refinery. I always, when I come to the class, put all my patients to the highest. But you in one question, you reduce it to the lowest. Let us go to natural gas, an important clean energy with or without petroleum. And if I want to tell the, uh, the evolution of this natural gas, for many years, when there's geologists, you know who are geologists? You know who are ISRO scientists? 
Chandra. Ha. Na na. Now by second of this month, coming yes, month. Uh, uh, please watch it. I think again evening time by schedule there, and this will be the prestigious project of our uh, ISRO because it is going to stop at a place equidistant from the sun and the earth. And it is going to take all the closest picture of the sun. And then it is going to send it back to our ISRO. Already uh, NASA, China, Russia, and other countries are envying India because India has collected more information. They are saying the soil of moon is having even magnesium. Water they have found out already. And other minerals also there. So look how ISRO has really one big step and a big leap forward. I hope you also would take a big step when you are going to face your board exam. Sir, maybe take a big step to study. No, no, no. Studies are going on. But when you first, I think English paper every time will be the first. Yeah. Uh, languages. So you make that paper like a biggest success paper. Automatically, the continues. Hey, good day, Nia. Jo better. Sir, sir, This year, elections are on the head. So they might do some. So don't worry for the dates. Next one. No, no. Exam department alaga, correction department alaga. It is used as an underlying source of energy. Underlying petrochemical. I did say in science, you might have studied one scientist called Humphrey Davies. Humphrey Davies. Humpty is here. Where is Dumpty? Yes, sir. <laughs> He invented a lamp for whom the miners can take inside the mines. It was called as Humphrey Davis safety lamp. These are the things story narrated by my science teacher, but I can't because the teacher's quality was like that. Because there were gases which were called CH4. Now, bito CH4 hai apka. Ah, very good. Which gas? It is methane. What is the speciality of methane? Highly combustible. So now the miners have the torch fitted on the helmet. Have you seen? Similarly, this gas along with NH4, uh, sorry, CH4, there was other gas which was released, which was called as natural gas. Now the geologists made natural gas into two. One, they converted that into CNG. What does CNG stands for? Compressed, Compressed natural, natural gas. gas. Then we are using it in our houses in the form of LPG. What is LPG? Petroleum gas. So both are the gases which you are evolved from where? Natural gas. Is it correct? It will be there. Next, natural gas underlying. Environmental friendly. Less pollution, more energy. Fuel for the present century. Please put a question mark. The answer is there. Because of point number one, low carbon dioxide emission, easy transportation. Can you add more two points? Present century gas. Sorry. Two points they have given. Yes, pollution. Sir, it's cheaper than other like petroleum. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, but cheaper, okay. But somebody. You write third point, highly portable. Portable. You understand portable? Can I carry one gallon of petrol in my hand and the traffic police might catch me? But can I carry the cylinder? Easily, na? gas is not going to be a trouble. Portable. Next one, somebody told that point. Uh, you write economical than fossil fuels. Economical than fossil fuels. Than fossil fuels. Than, I said than. Oh my God. Yeah, online is when I pronounce certain words. Are you able to catch the pronunciation as it is? Yes. And also, the boy should. Ah, the boy always asks my pronunciation. You need. Now, either your hearing is a trouble or my pronunciation is a trouble. It's okay, it's okay. No, no, correct it quickly. Oh, yes. uh, your eardrums. <laughs> it is considered as, achha, that is done. We are moving. India is underlined. Not self-sufficient. Now, if you want to relate this gas with a powerful country called Russia, 
Russia has the highest natural gas, we can say reserves, and it has more areas. I think very quickly is winding up the war. Which war? Ukraine. And Ukraine is also very rich with this natural gas only. So Russia is the leading supplier of gas to many European countries. We have seen countries becoming, uh, what you can say, bankrupt due to the wars. But in Russia's case, it is losing, it is spending money, I'm not saying no, but it is becoming richer and richer day by day. So good for them, but bad for the humanity and bad for the, the cartoon fellow, the Zalansky. I'm saying cartoon fellow, he was a full-time comedian in Russian news channels. And he's playing comedy in the life of the Ukrainians. I don't know what his plans are. Ha, like we have a Punjab CM, na? he was also a comedian. Punjab CM Malum Thana. Abhi present CM, he was a comedian in many news channels. Siddhi ke samne wo hai, karta tha. Abhi to wo life mein comedy kar raha hai. Arvind Kejriwa. <laughs> let's proceed. Let's proceed. We are going to reserves and utilization. You read it. Only I'm underlining certain words. Discovered in open bracket. Andhra Pradesh and close it in Andaman and Nicobar. Mumbai High, Gulf of Cambay. What is Cambay? You write Gujarat Day. And recently, Krishna Godavari Basin. Circle the word private sector. Hey, why they are specifically mentioning private sector? Because majority of the CNG are into government sector. Yes. Okay. Huh. Production, uh, circle that three words. It is Hajira, Bijaipur, and Jagdishpur. And look at the look at the length of the pipeline. It is 17,000 kilometers. 1,700, I'm so sorry. 1,700. 1,700, I'm so sorry for that. And India ka longest pipeline here. Let us go to fertilizer. It supplies gas to fertilizer, power, industrial complex, close bracket. Artery nahi chahiye. Haan, circle the word artery and write there GR. What is GR? Give reason. Write this question in your notebook. Why CNG is referred as? Why CNG is referred as artery? Artery. Of industrial production. Why CNG is referred as artery of industrial production? Artery, yeah? artery. How do you pronounce? Uh, uh, correct. Artery. Industrial production. You write four points for that, huh? Now, ah, you have to find out what it is. Use your, no, which generally don't have. Use of no, no, many, many. Use of CNG. Underline that word CNG. Replacing the fuel, gaining wide popularity. I am again waiting here. You guys, please run through mineral oil, natural gas. I'm waiting till electricity so that we can move leisurely instead of hurriedly or hastily. I'm giving time to read and tell me. Boy. Sir, are fighting. It's okay. Okay. Let's not discuss the problem. Let's discuss the solution. These topics are simple, straightforward. So please concentrate and read. Minerals is important and even energy also. Impetus, impetus. Online, has anyone have a query, please check with me. I couldn't find anyone asking any doubts at me during my lectures. Either the explanation is too good, Anshul? Yes, oh, the explanation oh. is there. Oh, really? 
और यू डू यू आर लीज बॉर्ड इट आधा घंटा आते हैं फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स आई हैव कट शॉर्ट माय लेक्चर्स बाय फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट्स आई डोंट वांट टू व्हाट इज दैट डू वर्ड हाँ बग्बी बग्बी विथ ऑल जोग्रफिक्स ए इकोनॉमिक्स वन चैप्टर इज लेफ्ट ना डन 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 नो 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 ना ग्लोबलाइजेशन इन इंडियन इकोनॉमी कंप्लीट है देन माय क्वेश्चन ऑलमोस्ट हैव विद टाइम शैल वी गो ऑन विद नन इट इज नॉट कैंसिल योर स्कूल माइट आस्क यू फॉर सम इंटरनल आई सी ओके ओके नाउ देयर इज अ टॉपिक फॉर आईसीएसई पीपल नॉट अ टॉपिक सब्जेक्ट कॉल कंज्यूम कमर्शियल एप्लीकेशन देयर आई टीच दैट सेम टॉपिक इन अ लेंथ same thing you will be studying in your degree also if you are having a part of economics so don't leave that consumer awareness uh, there are a lot of consumer forum have anybody know what is copra so i will tell like this wait 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 let anybody see put a guess mark what is copra anybody onlineers customer रेणुका मुझे बोलना इट इज वो कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट देन आर किस बात के लिए है पीआर प्रोटेक्शन कोपरा Consumer Protection Act. You as a consumer, you should be very much careful. Next time you go to Starbucks or any CCDs, if you find any uh, ant or any thing inside, my twelfth standard did it. So that fellow gave them one month of free burgers. He was a big burger. <laughs> There were ants inside some burger or some I don't know what he told me. So that day I was teaching this Consumer Protection Act in detail. So this boy went to the counter and told. I will take you to the consumer protection court. So these consumer awareness is a very important chapter. Please read it. Although it is not there for your theoretical exams, but it might be useful. Let's Sir, proceed. Ah. Ah, so far. But that how it's nobody can clear. You are welcome. Let's proceed with uh, electricity. Underline. wide range of application per capita consumption index of development put a question mark after development now very simple india consumption or india's consumption or indians consumption what i'm referring to electricity per person how much you and me are using refers the level of development do you accept this yeah really देखो इवन टुडे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन इंडिया इज अ रियल वी कैन से नॉट अ लग्जरी बट अ कंफर्ट मेनी विलेजेस आर देयर दे डू नॉट गेट बेसिक सप्लाई ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट इन सिटीज एट लीस्ट यू एंड मी आर गिफ्टेड आई थिंक यस्टरडे देयर वाज अ बिग रायट इन आवर नेबरिंग कंट्री कॉल्ड पाकिस्तान बिकॉज़ ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल टू बी द हाईएस्ट इन देयर कंट्री नाउ यूनिट at least in india we are far far better gifted with such high population and we have electricity in science you might have done what is emf what is emf electric magnetic field yeah no but dusra hai anybody emf force it is electro motive force moving of electrons move <laughs> Who invented electricity? अब लेगा ये तो है ही नहीं. Let me check GK. हाँ ना, who invented electricity? Guess, guess. What's it? <laughs> She is turning to ceilings. Anshul. अच्छा, an American died, and for two minutes, the entire cities of America switched off there. electricity as a mark of respect to that great person i am asking you that was this one use <laughs> he invented bulb his name was thomas alva edison but electricity he didn't invent 
it was michael faraday faraday yes. ha there is one more scientist he was an astrophysicist i don't remember i forgot his name but his the only uh, astronomers grave graveyard huh? it is there in the moon huh? yes. americans have done a, such a big respect to that wonderful find out the name and tell me his graveyard is there in the moon moon Yes. 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 definitely why not the graveyard there they send the ashes and made a crematorium and is graveyard nobody knows this oh my god anshul is asking me is it true or a false case it's true it's true his name i know but i want you guys to find out ha i only went and made 6 by 4 you know what is 6 by 4 what is it Six is the length, four is the width. Indians के लिए six by two okay है, but American है तो six by four चाहिए. You find out the need. So that's what I'm saying. India is really doing tremendous work, at least on these lines. Not digging the grave, but doing some other thing. चलो, let's move on to electricity. Underline running water and underline hydro electricity. Only underline hydro. burning fossil fuels underline thermal electricity now we are moving to hydro uh, fast flowing i think ye sab to karega hi go down to the dams bakranangal dvc it is kopilia kopili not kopoli kopoli is in maharashtra close the bracket and hydel power producing states open bracket ap karnataka odisha and punjab and these are all the names of the dams are jog falls bakranangal thermal electricity underline using coal petroleum and ng uh, there are 310 thermal power plants in india and i am waiting non conventional you guys read solar wind and biogas then i'll start explaining from tidal abhi abhi because that is very simple by the time i am going to get a video for uh, geothermal and uh, tidal in it you must watch how it is produced इंटरनेशनल चेस चैंपियन and our uh, what is his name chopra he has won the first time gold medal yes. is a world champion in javelin hey guys this is tidal energy just understand because they might ask you what is tidal energy you won't be having any clue it is much better than wind energy are you able to see the screen online now Yes, sir. Mm. I'm sharing the sound, guys. Please listen. Then, when I'm explaining, hopefully you'll understand in a much better. <laughs> tidal power is a form of hydropower that converts the energy from the natural rise and fall of the tides into electricity. Tides are caused by the combined effects of gravitational forces exerted by the moon, the sun, and the rotation of the Earth. Tidal plants can only be installed along coastlines. Coastlines often experience two high tides and two low tides on a daily basis. The difference in water levels must be at least 5 meters high to produce electricity. Tidal electricity can be created from several technologies, the main ones being tidal barrages, tidal fences, and tidal turbines. Tidal barrages are the most efficient tidal energy sources. A tidal barrage is a dam that utilizes the potential energy generated by the change in height between high and low tides. This energy turns a turbine or compresses air, which in turn creates electricity. Tidal fences are turbines that operate like giant turnstiles, whereas tidal turbines are similar to wind turbines, only underwater. In both cases, electricity is generated when the mechanical energy of tidal currents turns turbines connected to a generator. The generator produces electricity. Ocean currents generate relatively more energy than air currents because ocean water is 832 times more dense than air and therefore applies greater force on the turbines. 
Tidal Power is easy to install and renewable, having no direct greenhouse gas emissions and a low environmental impact. Because the ocean's tidal patterns are well understood, tidal energy is a very predictable energy source, making it highly attractive for electrical grid management. This sets it apart from other renewables that can be more unpredictable. However, adoption of tidal technologies has been slow, and so far, the amount of power generated using tidal power plants is very small. This is due largely to the very specific site requirements necessary to produce tidal electricity. Additionally, tide cycles do not always match the daily consumption patterns of electricity and therefore do not provide sufficient capacity to satisfy demand. That's tidal power. Very quickly, I can bring your problem. I understand. Easy for you to come to know. These are not in a very big way in India, but in US, it is done. have relaxed in a natural hot springs pool or seen the old faithful geyser blasting hot water into the air in Yellowstone National Park. But have you ever thought of where all that heat comes from? Well, it comes from deep beneath the surface of the earth and it's called geothermal energy. And we can use it to generate clean, renewable electricity. Okay, here's how geothermal works. Heat from the Earth's crust warms water that is seeped into underground reservoirs. In some places, when water becomes hot enough, it can break through the Earth's surface as steam or hot water. This usually happens where the Earth's crust or plates meet and shift. In the past, taking advantage of geothermal energy was limited to areas where hot water flowed near the surface. But as geothermal technologies advance, we can leverage even more of these natural, renewable energy sources. Engineers have developed a few different ways to produce power from geothermal wells drilled into the ground. Have a look at this. It's a dry steam geothermal power plant, and it's the most common type of geothermal technology used today. Underground steam flows directly to a turbine to drive a generator that produces electricity. Pretty straightforward. Another geothermal technology is called a flash steam power plant. A pump pushes hot fluid into a tank at the surface, where it cools. As it cools, the fluid flashes, or quickly turns into vapor. The vapor then drives a turbine and powers a generator. A binary cycle plant works differently. It uses two types of fluid. Hot fluid from underground heats a second fluid, called a heat transfer fluid, in a giant heat exchanger. The second fluid has a much lower boiling point than the first fluid, and so it flashes into vapor at a lower temperature. When the second fluid flashes, it spins a turbine that drives a generator. The environmental benefits of this clean, round-the-clock, renewable energy source are substantial. Low emissions, small physical footprint, and minimal environmental impact. The few byproducts that can come up are often re-injected underground. Please, you have an idea what it is now. Let's proceed. Uh, I'll ask you to just do it uh, because this becomes very easy for you to understand. Let's come to our volume page. Why people are guys sleeping? Okay, uh, I knew it. This is going to happen. So what you guys are planning to do by next lecture, please read solar, wind, biogas, and tidal, geothermal, nuclear power plant. Nuclear power plant, Alex. How did it fly from the year today? How? No, no, no. It is gravity. I'm going to come as a gravity now. Pick it up for me. Go to page number, uh, almost this chapter is done. Go to page number in your volume. I'm beautifully explaining and he's busily talking. Go to page number, no, no, I don't know. Page number 145, question number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and even 8. Nine, ten, no, no, leave 9 and 10 for me. I'll do it. Uh, up till 1 to 8. Is it okay? Yes. Sir. So we will meet in the next lecture by finishing this chapter and we'll proceed. Yes. Sir. Okay. Ah, thank you. And the two questions I'll do it for you. That also. Additional two questions that are given in the notebook. 